private range so that I can train for my first three gun uh, simulation. I've always wanted to shoot three gun. I watch a lot of John Wick. I follow this guy named Taron Butler on Instagram and I'm inspired. I want to do three gun. Three gun basically is using a pistol, a shotgun, and a rifle in a competition and it's about um, accuracy, speed, how fast you can reload and it's a combination of uh, tactical skills and agility and obviously stamina also because you are carrying some heavy machinery with you. I'm excited to train, I've always wanted to do this and hopefully one day down the line I'll join a competition. What happened there? This guy hit the barrier and he's leaking water. Oh no. Hope they're okay. I had to do a pit stop and just grab some coffee, kill some time, and now we are following our convoy. Oh! I just got rammed at. I'm finally at the venue and I wanted to share with you guys my love for firearms. I don't share that much on the channel about my firearms, but I've grown up with some firearms ever since I was a little child. I did bring three pieces today and I will show you guys what I brought and yeah, excited to include this as part of the channel because I do want to get good at three gun, I do want to join competitions with my gunsmith and his gunsmith. <laughs> excited. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Shut up. I love this thing. Such an effort. Fumbled the reload though. Here's Doc Joey De Los Santos. Yeah. yeah. 82. 82. Yeah. 82 is still shooting. I was born 1982. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. When he was studying ano, in Ateneo, in EDSA, it's only the Caritela passes. There's no car spot. Kabayo muna. Kabayo. Yeah. Starting oh, yeah. plate. Uh, yeah, Boom. Yeah. Okay. One foot on top of the plate. Okay. One, one foot. Okay. How about sa one, one foot rin? No, inside. Both. One foot inside. Freestyle. Left or right? Left. Okay, sir. Left box. Two paper, two plates. 
Right box, three plates, two paper, one swinger. Two guys. It's a friendly competition now. Friendly though. competition. <laughs> At 82 years I know, old. 82. I was like 82. That was so good. He was pretty quick. All in? All in. Charlie Delta. Two One, yeah. All Alpha. Wow. <laughs> okay, who's next? <laughs> who's next? Who's <laughs> next? Big little bullet. I'm using a HK VP9, uh, it's a 9mm, it's not my competition gun, but usually I bring out a Glock 17 and we're shooting arm score full metal jackets. No, you're hitting high, you're hitting like there you go. Ready? Stand by! Oh my god! Put the paper first. Don't Ah! Okay. Getting a full service here. Curtesy of BPSA Corporate Secretary. Wala na. Kailangan sumali na ako ng PPSA. Broken down the shotgun so we can check and clean everything. It's a different camera. Okay lang. This will... Not as dirty as the, as dirty. It's an, the it's choke. Dulo, yeah. So you know, lang, I didn't bring you know, choke grease. Normally I put grease on that. Ah, there's a choke grease yeah, also. Yeah, well you can use ordinary grease, but there you go. There's one. Here's the assembly of the beretta. I've never dismantled it that far. <laughs> I think you saved my shotgun. <laughs> no problem. Okay. Enter. Enter. Up oh, again. Enter. Okay. Here. You pull it. You shoot that. There is one. You know. There is that plate. Yeah. Shoot that plate. <laughs> Okay, stop of the Okay, Kalki is holding the Beretta Extrema. This is the modification we did to the Extrema. We basically scalloped the loading port, but what we've learned today is we actually need to scallop it deeper and further and cut this section out so that so that the loads will clear. This is called a match saver. It allows you to get one shot in, so we're gonna take that out. And then this one has an extended loading tube so we can get more shells in. But besides that, it's relatively stuck. And Kalki's been uh, maintaining and modifying it for me, but looks like we need to cut some more. So right now, Kalki is holding the SIG. This is the SIG MPX, and it's the John Wick gun. That's why I got it. Kalki has modified it for me, so we put the sights on it, and then we got a uh, longer handguard and then barrel. And then Kalki's made a uh, nice suppressor, which is AMK. And then we have this uh, front grip here and then loading port and then we have the Terran tactical extension for the clips and then obviously Cerakoted to match uh, my taste for gold and then the rear end what did we do with this this one folds this one folds and we changed the charging the Radian Raptor 
So this has been my 9mm uh, rifle for practice. Problem is I think I still need to break it in further. And if you guys uh, need modifications on your rifles, you can contact Galki on Drone Superstar. I'll put the, his Instagram here. But basically, Kalki and his father are gunsmiths and they do all the gun mods for us. They do laser engraving, stippling. So laser engraving is if you want stuff like this, like the AMK. And then stippling is when you want like more of this texture everywhere. So some people like the stippling all the way up. So it just depends on your taste. And I learned a lot today, even like how to how to mount this one. So last today is the handgun. This is the HK VP9. Now normally I bring a Glock out, but this was the one that the permit was valid, so I brought this out instead. This is a Heckler & Koch, it's a German company. This one's still stock. I haven't done any mods to this because usually for your everyday carry, you don't do any mods, but for the Glock 17, I do have mods for that already. But that concludes today's shooting. I'm gonna get some videos from Kalki. And yeah, I, I don't know if you guys are into guns and firearms, but it's been a part of my life and I wanted to share with you guys and bring you some different content.